Hi there. Today's Surface Pro tip is how to use Windows 10 Power Toys to split your screen with fancy zones. We made a video back in 2017 about the surprisingly little known feature of Windows called Snap. Snap allows you to split the screen into vertical halves or quadrants using your keyboard, mouse, pen or fingertips. If you're already using Snap, welcome to the top 10% of computer users. But what if you want to split your screen horizontally or into thirds? Or perhaps another layout altogether? Well, today's video is for you. Last year, Microsoft started releasing Power Toys for Windows 10. Now, for those old enough to remember, Microsoft introduced the concept of Power Toys back in Windows 95. These were experimental apps that you could download that could extend the functionality of Windows. Power Toys reappeared in Windows XP, and there were even a set of Power Toys that were available for Windows XP Tablet Edition in 2004. One of those Tablet Edition Power Toys was the very first version of the snipping tool. And there was also a tool to create a font out of your own handwriting. And Microsoft resurrected that one, and you can now download it from the Microsoft Store. I'll leave a link to that one in the description below. But enough history. The power toy that I'm loving right now on my Surface is called Fancy Zones. Fancy Zones extends the functionality of Windows Snap by allowing you to create your own customizable Snap Zones. Once you've downloaded Power Toys, I'll leave a link again in the description, you can open the Power Toys app and go to Fancy Zones. Open the Zone Editor and you'll notice that there are templates. Here you can specify the number of apps that you want to split. I've had a lot of people ask me over the years if it's possible to split the screen up horizontally. So I'll select rows, apply it, and demonstrate this layout. When the zone has been applied, I can now hold the shift key on the keyboard while dragging the window to see where the zones are. And when I drop the window into that zone, it snaps into that space to fit. Be aware that Fancy Zones does not override the window snap feature. So if you go too far to the edge, you might find that it splits vertically instead. To create your own window layout, go back to the zone editor, click on the custom tab, click on new custom layout, and edit the layout. You can now start adding zones to your custom layout. Now I spend a lot of time on Teams calls on my Surface Studio. And one of the issues that I find with the Surface Studio and Teams is that the videos in a Teams call appear across the bottom of the screen. So with the studio, that means that I'm often looking down the bottom of my screen and my gaze is not close enough to the webcam. Microsoft could take a leaf out of Zoom's book here and put the videos up to the top. But in the meantime, what I've done is I've created a zone layout where I can snap Teams up to the top and in the middle of the screen. And I've left some room for some other things below. Fancy Zones is also essential when you're working with really large screens especially wide screens like the one I use with my Surface Pro 7 and Pro X. It's really handy to be able to split the screen up into three columns with these wide screens. The only downside that I've found with Fancy Zones is that it's a little bit tricky to use with touch and pen. Because the shift key is needed, I need to switch to the full layout touch keyboard and then press the shift key. I can then drag the window and drop it in place. There are third party apps that could make this a little bit easier to do. Tell us if you're using any of the Windows 10 Power Toys in the comments below. And if you're using Fancy Zones, or if you're going to use it now that you've seen it, tell us what you're going to do with it below. Thanks for all of your comments and your many ideas and questions too. Stay tuned for more Surface Pro tips, and remember to like and subscribe. Uh, I'm going to get through this one more time. It was the very first vision, version. vision. Uh. And there was also a tool to create your, a font from your own handwriting. Can I go from that bit?